Hello and welcome. Please plug your ears. Ascended stars, and I'm happy to do your reading. Now I have the hush deck, which I wanted to use the other day, and I couldn't find. So now we're going to see who's up. Leo, I could feel your, ooh, I could feel it. The Leo vibe is in the house. Hey, my Leos, how's it going? You hanging in there? <laughs> With all this Aquarius, it was it was between you or Aquarius because I, you know that polarity is, I guess, in the air. All right, you guys, let's see what we have for the um, what is this? Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness, backstabbing. Uh, knowing that you have to leave but not doing it okay Leo you're a fixed sign and um, I, I am picking up a lot of this fixed energy because it won't with a lot of Pisces and Neptune around you know uh, Pisces in, it, in its home of Neptune Venus uh is in a good aspect as well. Mars is about movement. Being fixed and stuck ain't gonna work. The Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. Yes, being fixed and stuck is not going to work. Three of Cups. Oh God, I love this. This is interesting. All right, so you want to celebrate. You have you have good moments. You want to be kind of in this dreamy state, a little. You know, let's just have fun, let's get naked, a lot of hedonism over here, you know? A lot of like, oh, we'll do it together, yeah. A lot of like, um, <laughs> you know, you're my bestie kind of energy, yeah. But you're bouncing from like energy to energy. Ten of Swords, this has cost, this has come to a, a, a complete stop here. You're not able to, it's not fruitful anymore. You're not able to grow here anymore. Um, and there's a lot of pain that's been experienced. Knight of Swords reversed. Now there's, now the angers come up. Now the, the bad words, maybe a little of the victim mentality. Knowing that you need to get out of this connection, out of this situation, out of uh, where you're at. This is uh, Pisces, Pisces energy as well. This cycle is done. It's been done with the nine of the nine. Yeah, the, at the beginning, we had the nine of swords reversed. It's been done. You've been oh you, yeah. You're not healing. You're choosing not to heal right now. Somebody's not healing. While their counterpart seems to be doing some good work. Yeah, there's the counter. Like it's get yeah. Whoa. Okay, I just feel like either you, you know, these are reflective energies or mirrored energies, but I feel if I'm speaking to the Divine Feminine, there is somebody here in deep regret, and they're having tower moments, they're having epiphanies about how you're growing and living your truth, okay, living in your power. Now, if you are watching and you're not letting this cycle go, and this person's just repeatedly hurting you, and you're ignoring so much of of this um, spirits coming down with the hammer, okay? And and saying you need to start living your truth. You need to, you know, the truth is coming in. This person is not going to change. This person's like shackled. Um, six of Pentacles. This person has never given in the past, and you are mistaken to think that they're going to be given in the future. Yes. Yeah, and you gotta, you you really have to set up the boundaries, okay? The, uh huh. You've been wounded over here over and over again, and this is um, spirit speaking to you, saying that at the same time you need to walk, you know, have pride and walk away. King of Swords. Maybe get a lawyer. Maybe start documenting. Maybe you know, deal with these uh, things, paperwork and, and and paper trails about 
you know, the way that they overstep their boundaries and they might be physical. The angels are here. They won't let you. Your ancestors are here. Okay, who else is here? Uh, you got to make this choice. It's really up to you making this choice, even though it, it doesn't, it looks daunting. It doesn't feel good. But, you know, you have like baby steps to make, right? This is how spirit works. You have baby steps to make and then spirit will cover the rest once you make these baby steps. But it's, you're like scared as a little baby kitten over here. Oh, the moon. Okay, so this has to do with your self-worth. You know, there's secrets here that you think. This is another energy. Like, you know, you get caught up with this energy, low vibrational energy of like, oh, I got to keep their secrets. I got to do all. You You don't have to do nothing. If they don't do nothing for you, you don't do nothing for them. Um, if, and on top of it, if they're hindering you and stopping you, blocking you from doing good, you really got to dump them. You really, 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 especially if you have children. Okay, I'm going to dig in here with the other deck that I <sighs> semi okay let's see what we have the hangman let's give let's get a story with the hangman we got this I don't even know that was thank you spirit thank you for these messages for my Leo collective yeah you're supposed to have self-worth the second time it came out daughter of wands in the east oh no this is the okay no okay yeah, you need to start your passion. You need to, okay, you, this is good. You are on fire, okay? So this is something about slowly, you know, licking your wounds, picking up the pieces, listening to music is very important. Um, Radha is a beautiful soul, okay? Radha is a very beautiful princess of wands. So this is a creative being. This is somebody who sings, dance and sing. Yeah, get up and do your thing. Your ancestors want you to just, yeah, take it slow, okay? Uh, don't be impulsive because this is, maybe somebody's going to get on your nerves. Could be a Pisces. Could be because you get, don't get emotional. Ancestors are saying, Control your emotions. Don't let somebody get you in your emotions, okay? Yeah, this is done, all right? And you know, Leo, it's done. You know it's done, okay? And and you need to bring it. It's That's the death card. You need to really lay the law on that. Okay, we're going, we're going uh, front, back to front. Now front to back. Radha comes out again. Follow your passion. Do what you got to do. Keep, you know, this energy of your high vibration. Honor yourself. But um, there's something in the past that you maybe weren't able to do as fully as you wanted. It's, it's The time is now is the energy I get. Yeah, time is now to, to shine, to do it. You have to heal, though, okay? You're going back. Okay, you have to heal to get, to get this passion, this spark back, all right? And then the universe will give you what you want, but you must heal because in healing, maybe it's this, this thing that you're doing that's going to be part of the healing process, but you will get what you want. You must like really be determined to rid yourself of whatever it was that was trying to stop you and live a truth, okay? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with others uh, because that will, this is, you were living under a false reality here or a truth that came out that you thought was a truth now it, you know what i mean like it changes the whole thing oh my god and it's got you really emotional because you're thinking i i was going one way in life and i thought this was going to work out and it was going to be like this and i was going to be happily ever after jolly and you could be dealing with an aquarius you could be dealing with another leo or another fire sign aries sag you also got strong air energy here i'm picking up libra intuition um through intuition okay so yeah this you have had a huge huge betrayal all right and ten of swords this is um you must heal from this this is a wound that will not let go almost <laughs> This is a wound that wherever you go, there it is. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay, yeah, this is something that you keep pretending that you can be fine in life. But you everywhere you go, there it is. It's your shadow. It's your shadow. There's a shadow part of you that comes out that attracted this person, okay? The shadow part of you is a truth that you're repressing, okay? And you do it through 
sexual con conquer conquest concubines beautiful so you have the uh, father of cups king of cups It's, this could be self-punishing energy, to be honest with you. Like, I, I deserve it, or there's so much shame here. I can't. There's so much regret. There's so much, dis, you know, disgusting stuff that I've done or they've done that I feel that I can, I can never be healed. It's almost like this kind of really... But spirits coming in and saying, no, you, you definitely need to work on forgiveness and rooting yourself. And, and this is what you didn't have is some a support. You didn't have that. You you didn't have the support that you needed. And it, and you think and you have leaned into people to support you that really are out to uh, exploit you. Exploit you. Okay. And you've been denying this. You've been denying this. Mother of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Wands. And this is, you can use that, you know, that anger, that angst of how unfair that life has treated you in a way towards a goal and a, a, a path and a journey of, of um, maybe even stardom. Maybe you want to act. Maybe you want to sing. Maybe you have some kind of um, talent, uh, artist, painting. I pick up a lot of stuff there. So that is what is um, really the deep 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 dive for my leo collective wow you guys are really uh going through it i guess my loves my loves i i didn't you know it's hard to tap into this energy if i'm not if i'm not in a solid place and i gotta tell you yeah this is a fork in the road i gotta tell you we're always gonna meet these forks in the roads okay 13 you could be dealing with a capricorn you could be dealing with a capricorn energy and this is, you know, again, this is a llama, a yama, a yama. Okay, look, there's a Sagittarius, the owl. Okay, you could be dealing with the year of the monkey. Man, those are sticklers. I'm telling you, those are sticklers. You could be um, monkey mind, okay? Look at all the decisions. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? Should I go this way? What should I do? Both of them are going in the right direction. Both of them are going in one direction. One's going. So you are one stubborn person. Again, comes to your fixed energy. You've tried it. You've tried it. And you've tried it. And you think, well, I'll just go back. You keep going back to something that is just not going to work. Okay? And you, you have, you're very uh, duality mind about it. You don't want to give the other thing an opportunity. What's interesting, what I see here is that there's two uh, directions, going back and going forward. But somehow the, the Lama, Yama, isn't, it doesn't, even the monkey, even the owl, it doesn't occur to anyone to go into the light, you know. The sun, you guys are the, okay, so you guys need to go and meditate on, in the sun for about at least 10 minutes. If you don't have skin cancer, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't want to prescribe something that is not healthy. You need to really shade yourself and use sunscreen. But I think 10 minutes, all right? 10 minutes in the sun. Meditate to get the answers. Because it's like, we're in Neptune time. But you are solar energy. Your answers might come in the sun. So I feel like you just need to sit and meditate with your, uh, you know, like, crossed leg style. And, and meditate on what you need to do. Because you're you're at a, at a crossroads. That's Hikati energy. And you really need to focus on what's the best thing and where the love is at and act from your higher self. What's good for you? You need to really think. 44, the angels are asking. They are wanting to connect with you round and round. <laughs> ooh, 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 what did I say? Treasure Island. Looking, moving like a turtle over here. You're just treading water. Just treading the water. Trip, trip. All right, what else? We're going to get some astrology. Wow, you guys, what's going on? You're just thinking. You've been thinking and thinking and thinking. You're people of movement, of action, of doing, initiative. Okay, we have the sun, Scorpio. Somebody's got you in your field. Or you're thinking deeply about your emotions because that's what Scorpio does, okay? You're thinking about where you've devoted yourself. This is what you guys have in common because you're both fixed. You're both devoted, passionate, and persuasive, okay? 
And this could be like your debts that you owe, all right? This is a Pluto, eighth house, watery energy. Uh, you could be having urinary tract infections, reproductive issues, or talking about that. I don't know, you know, that's what they're saying here. But definitely your passion's on point. The intensity and the drive to make things happen needs to get, get on point because you don't know what you're doing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, why do I put it all the way to the side? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. So your essence right now, or your advice is to really take the time to regenerate yourself you got like a lot of blue which is water and emotions okay so just check in with your emotions because you are a gifted soul um both light and dark areas of your life need to be understood because you rule birth and death cycles okay um or you're going through a birth and death cycle. I'm, I'm talking about the Scorpio. Sorry about that. Mixed it up. <laughs> Let's get back on track. So look, listen, you're capable at this time to rebirth yourself. Okay. So no matter what people have told you, no matter how much guilt, how much regret, how much shame, how much blah, 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 all this stuff, forget it. You're so talented. People don't really pay attention to that. All right. Because you guys got charisma. You are the magnet. You are my lovely souls. Let's get some... <laughs> I do feel like getting the soul cards. Oh, you know what I want to do, my Scorps? I mean, my Scorps. Gosh, sorry about that. Uh, my Leos is um, runes. Runes. It's because I just did the Scorpio sun for you guys. So, so that's pretty important. Oh, wow. You feel like failures? I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Wow. Okay. And look at this. This is my favorite color at 12. I used to love almost my nail polish was almost like, okay. It doesn't matter. You don't care. I know. All right. What I want to do is get some runes. So close your ears and let's pull some runes. Let's see what the dealio is with the left hand. I like to pull with my lefty. Maybe some of you guys are lefties, or maybe somebody that you love is a lefty. Who are we talking about? Okay. Enough is enough. All right, let's... Don't want to cover my third act. Ooh, stubborn. You guys are stubborn. Stay put! Stay put! You won't stay put. Okay, sorry. Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? My Leo Collective. Oh, what's, what's going on? Love. Okay, love. <laughs> the thinker has, wow, it has this beautiful, I don't know, I gotta look at what these are, honey. I don't, okay, then, oh, there's an empty, okay, so you are, listen, you've gotten twice empty, um, like an empty rune, or that one, the one deck, I love this deck now, because it has that space for possibility it has that empty card okay the gray area is really not so great for you guys all right let me just have a little coffee you are very envied okay my leos you're very envied by the way people are jealous of you because you're damn sexy i'm kidding <laughs> That's where the Scorpio energy comes in. I'm not getting by that. You guys are S E X Y. This is 18 over channel. All right, so let's move it. Okay, keep it moving. Okay, this is. Mm. So maybe there's so much sexual attraction with this uh, individual here. The chemistry is just phenomenal, and you know, you you guys are fixed, so you like to have this, you know, regular activity at your. At your hands what do you say at your at your bay you know at your calling okay i do pick that up i i think i've been figuring you leos out okay i've been figuring this thing out with the leo so i got you so you guys do like the regular regular on the dl or whatever that is i don't know but you i don't know why i said on the dl i shouldn't have said that but i, I do feel like maybe some of you do have that tendency 
So you're thinking, am I straight? Am I gay? Am I... You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You guys are getting hit left and right generationally and all this stuff. So, yeah. Let's, 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 um... Let's continue the research. Okay, so this is kind of... I'd say road... This is look. This looks like a crossroads. I'll keep it there with that one. So allow me to just check in on the names of these and give you the meanings. Thank you so much, my beautiful Leos, for your patience. And I will bring you the info on the runes. On the runes. All right, let's... Some of these are swear. They don't... I love symbolism, let me tell you, but they do get, okay, where are, yeah, okay, that's the one, so this one, okay, I found this one, this one is Hagalaz, and that's going sideways, but we got both of them, oh my goodness, we got both of them, we got Iwas, I think that's Iwas, and, yep, we got Jera. We've got something we don't need there. Okay, where's the one with the X and the V? Othala. Okay, so we have that one, that one. Jera, Othala. I think that's Iwaz. And I think that's Hagalaz. And I think that's Dagaz. Wow. Okay, and love. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the empty ones. Okay. We're doing good. All right. So listen, 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 listen. With this um, Hagalaz energy. Yeah, that's Hagalaz. Okay, this is definitely Hagalaz. Okay, this is coming in sideways. So this is, um, whether you like it or not, I think like, the, you know, it's called Wrath of Nature. It's hail. And it typically is about destruction. So uncontrollable forces, especially the weather or within your unconscious, tempering and testing, trial, controlled crisis, leading to competition and inner harmony. So this is like the universe is coming here, setting you, making you, making you make a decision, okay? And then with the dagas, the day has come, you know, your breakthrough. You got to make a breakthrough here and make a choice. You got to awaken, all right? You got to have awareness, the daylight, clarity, a time to plan or embark upon an enterprise. The power of change directed by your own will, Leo. And that's where you're going to meet your happiness. You got to transform. You got to, you know, find the ideal for you. What's, you know, what is secure, what's unsecure. This is you growing and releasing places who no longer set your you know set your, your 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 place of possibilities now they don't meet that balance point okay so this is this is interesting energy that's the degas wow degas you better degas out of there okay so then you have jera jera's right here in the middle this is all the things that you need to be thinking about because it all hit on the thinking so that says um the results of your harvest, all right? And you're like, well, how far can I go now with everything that I've done in my life? So you've been putting in the harvest. Do you have the peace that you seek, the happiness? Is it fruitful? It doesn't look like it because you failed. Somebody here failed you, Leo, or you failed. And I'm sorry, but the promised land ain't here. It's earned. And something has really gone maybe wrong for, for somebody's situation here. Okay, Jera. Jera. Everything has changed this is what you think. This is what you can't get past. You can't get past that everything has changed. Wow, I'm sorry, but that's that's life. You gotta change and roll with the punches. And one thing you can always count on is change. And the angels are trying to like nudge you and tell you it's gonna be okay. It's like you can't move. It's like you don't want to leave this. But it doesn't lead you to anything, okay? And then like somehow about love, maybe you don't think you're gonna be loved treasure island it's like you keep going back you keep going back thinking that the gold is here that the gold the treasure is in the past no 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 and you get so emotional and you go back to the past okay so this is about othala right here this one and that came in reverse Ooh, it came in reverse so this is lack of customary order this is poverty and homelessness, bad karma, prejudice. This is you thinking like, you know, like a clan, like, oh, look at her, look at him. They're not part of the group. 
My God. So you're bound. Okay, what a man is bound to. Dudes and dudettes. This is a crazy reading you got going on. And then the last one. Yeah. Okay. This is Wrath of Nature. Okay. Uncontrollable forces. This is what you're thinking. I hope somebody's not thinking this about you. I mean, this is when I did start the reading. I said, oh, people are jealous. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe it could be, you know, take it that energy too. And my, and my third eye had been covered. Remember that? Okay. There's a lot of hate for you guys. It's a lot of hate in the world. I mean, not just you guys, but I'm just going to tell you. There's a lot of hate in the world. Let me just get these cards. These are the ones that are... These are real gentle. I got these on Etsy, and I want to get more cards on Etsy, you guys. If you can make me suggestions, email me what you'd like to see on the channel. Um, Big Mama wants to change it up. Okay, and I really want to entertain you guys. So, let's see. Let's see for this. These are really sweet. Let's soften up the blow here. This is keep up your protection. Soul's sun. Wow, that's beautiful. I want to get a whole bunch of these. Compassion. Oh, you have to have compassion. You do have compassion. Look, and the tiger. So this is you're the tiger. Could be dealing with a, a tiger, you know, person. Like I gotta tell you, AH is a year of the tiger with 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 um JD. And he's a rabbit, by the way. <laughs> little rabbit that always likes to be in, in trouble okay transformation all right heart of earth you gotta ground yourself no illumination yeah you gotta walk away you gotta be like a little bit hermit energy right now is what i pick up soul's sun this is about dreams are the sun of the soul again this is funny remember i said you guys need those 10 minutes out in the sun I feel you guys just need to meditate, be out in the sun, maybe a little ocean, ocean time. That would be good. Have compassion. Chinese goddess Quan Yin. Okay, so this is, uh, she had, her favorite animal is the white tiger. So this year, you're going to heal this wound, this deep kind of uh, maybe abandonment wound, maybe like going into lower vibration because of this wound. You invite lower vibrational people. You're cutting the out, whatever does not is not fruitful it's gone and you're this is from your higher consciousness this is you know the um the head chakra saint germain energy okay saint germain is making dirt into gold transformation the lotus energy okay a lot of water and mermaid here you're healing dive deep into your feelings really have a good cry it's okay take these epsom salt baths um or epsom salt uh you know, skills of, of, of detoxing your energy. Uh, points. Heart of Earth. Peace in winter. Okay, so this is going to be like a choppy summertime. Like, there's going to be, it seems like drama. So you better just keep it cool. Because people are out to kind of, like, fester you. Like, like you know, get under your skin, it feels like, too. And you're going to have to decide to walk away, maybe, in some situations where... You're going to have to have the most compassion, okay, the most for yourself. And when doing so, you can give it to others. Wow, this is crazy energy. I feel like I need to get you some more cards. Yeah, I'm going to get to the power of love. Uh, the soul card is James Van Prague. The power of love is James Van Prague. Gratitude, okay, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So the more gratitude you have, look at these colors, they're just really intense blue, teal, going within, healing yourself, releasing, you have to release, okay, some of you might be constipated right now, have a lot of aloe vera juice, have a lot of um, chia seeds, yeah, transformation again, okay, again. I love these confirmations. It says, you use the power of love to move through illusions and into awareness. You got, yeah, that's what you're doing. You're slicing up the illusions. That's what this is. You, Spirit said, okay, you cannot no longer be Pollyanna. You can no longer pretend satisfaction. You want to be satisfied with what you're getting over here. So it says, you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Thank you. Okay. That's what I have for my beautiful, beautiful Leo special magnetic, charismatic collective. Much love and light. I have a Virgo, uh, Virgo Scorpio 
and Libra channel. It's called Vessel. And um, I'll put the info below. I am giving free readings on that. Take care. Much love and light.